everyone, it's Emma on My Pampered Pets and I'm really sorry that I didn't get my video on last week. I'm going to try and get it up today, possibly before this one's on, so you might have already seen it. But um, anyway, my main priority today is to get this video on, which is the organisation video. So I'm just basically going to be showing you where I keep all my rabbit things and stuff. So yeah, I'll get started. So obviously this is the shed, as you probably know. Um, and then I have this big high hutch that the guinea pigs live in. And then I put some stuff up here so that they can't um, get to it because they can't jump up this high. So this is where I keep most things. So to start off with, I have their treats, which are in this tub here, which they can't get into. I've just got um, some carrot patch crunchies, some sunshine munch. Uh, these are a few wooden chews, they're not really treats, but you know. And um, some fruity treats in there as well. Some yogurt drops, but these are really bad for rabbits, so I need to chuck them out because they're not getting them anyway. So that's my treat box, which is just there. This is really difficult with one hand. Well, however. And then next to it, I have some spare water bottles, just in case any of them broke. I don't know why that's still got water in, that's disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, three water bottles, and also a spare lid, because sometimes it's just the lids that start leaking. And then next to it, I have the veggie bag. I actually just got given this by a really kind lady who is like the lollipop lady on the way up to school, if you don't know what that is. It's just someone who helps, like, people across the road um, usually only children but because it's on my route I have to cross with her or she would get mad and also she's the person who um, drops off my newspapers because she probably know that I do a paper round so she knows I've got pets and she lives next door to like some veg shack place so she gets like leftover veg for her rabbits because she's got them as well but also she gets too much so I get them so I've got loads of carrots in here and then I'm not, I don't even know what this is I haven't even looked in this bag yet Obviously I'll wash everything before I give it to my pet. I think that's cabbage. Yeah, that's cabbage. I've got some cabbage and carrots there for them. So I'm sure they'll like that. Then I have my flowery just pan and brush, which is a bit mucky now, but yeah, there it is. Then I have this metal run. I've just got the panels here. This is going to be used as a bonding pen when I try to bond blossom with the other three. But I also use it as blossoms run every now and then. But I'm not going to be needing that for a while because she's using another run at the moment and then I just have the um, big stick things that help it go into the ground then I have the cover just behind there and then I have this box full of random stuff I have some science selective food my rabbits haven't been given that though because it is um, it's the mature one and they're not old enough for it yet well blossom might be but I don't want to risk it because we don't know her exact age and I don't want to give her something that's going to be too old for what she is so, so that's just some spare food for me when they're older um, then I have some spare wood shavings that I don't really use um, the guinea pigs are on fleece I know this is a rabbit collab but I'll just tell you what's going on my guinea pigs are on fleece but um, the fleece is in the wash so they're just on wood shavings for now so that's just like spare for in case they, were, they needed to be on it for a day or something. Then I just have newspapers for cleaning now. I have a big bag full there. Then I have fleece under here for the guinea pigs. Well, that this needs washing. This, this is like the box with the fleece in ready to get washed. I've like, don't worry, I've like chucked off all the poo and stuff. It's just like a bit of hair on it. And it smells a bit. Then some towels. Some more fleece that needs washing. Because they have quite a lot of um, fleece, but my mum doesn't like putting it in the washing machine because the fur gets everywhere and everywhere, and it's like weird and stuff. So um, I just keep that in there until I hand wash it. So this is rabbit collab. So I'm going to try talk about my rabbit stuff. And uh, then I have on this back shelf here, I have two spare litter trays, small ones. <laughs> then I have my sprays up here. The Wilco Hutch and Cage Disinfectant Cleaner and then a fly stripe protector and then under here I just have like a vaccination leaflet which tells you a few things but I don't really need that because I kind of know the basics now and um, then I have a little hook here which I have the rabbit harnesses and leads on these are only for Jasper because the other three don't like them because some rabbits absolutely hate harnesses some 
are absolutely finding them and Jasper's finding them, he loves them. He been kissing them and everything, so I only ever use harnesses and rabbits that are okay with it. And if you're just wondering what they are, that's a cozy bed for the guinea pigs and a little tent for them. Then this side I keep the food. It's two drawers, which you've probably seen in other videos. Um just have the food in there. I need a top up of guinea pig food as you can see. And um I have a little scoop to get that out with. And the guinea pig, sorry, not the guinea pigs, the rabbit get three scoops full for the trio, like that big or something. And then blossom get just this start squeaking now. And um blossom just get one big scoop full. So that's that. Then I have the hair. This belongs in the garage, but I've just got it here for now just to show you it. The bag has ripped, so I need to replace that. So it's just, yeah, loads of hair in there. And I think that's possibly everything. They have lots of toys and stuff, but they're mainly outside and, like, in hutches and stuff. So, um, the bunnies are out here, by the way. Hi Mischief, Mischief come here, Mischief doesn't dare come up that often anymore, oh yes now, because he's on, at the moment he's getting medicine for an infection that he had, but I think it's clearing up now, well it's cleared up really well, but um, we've still got to finish it off because you should always finish off antibiotics, so yeah, oh yeah then I just have a spare lead, which I'm helping lock the shed door with because, um, I kind of broke the lock. I locked it when I accidentally changed the code without realising because I'm stupid like that and um, now I can't get into it So, because it's one of those code ones. Oh my gosh, there's a snail in the door and it's going to get crushed if it does not move. Move snail or you get crushed. Sorry. Ew, ew, ew. Oops, so there. Um, and then there's just this random rabbit door stopper which helps keep the door open but I don't need that right now because the one's there. Then I also have my rabbit jumps but they're around the back of the garden so I won't bother showing you them because my time is running out and it's not really anything to do with care and stuff it's just for fun for them. So yeah that's my organisation. I think that's everything sorry if I've missed anything but I also have spare food balls in the rooms as well so yeah, hope you like it. Please subscribe.